Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the mystical world of Valkyria Chronicles. Yes, we're back in Valkyria Chronicles. Hello and welcome to the defensive bro combat report. Ignore the C because it's 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 a letter. That doesn't matter. What matters is we defeated that enemy leader and we got 1610 dickle. Yeah, and EXP 570 to be exact. So let's get right in there, shall we? Continue the beautiful story that is this game. Chapter 2 Escape from Brule. A new episode. But we must watch it. What else can we do in a game that's meant for story? Oh, jeez. Martha. Plants. Please Nature. Okay. It's everywhere. Martha. <laughs> What's her problem? Is she pregnant or just fat? What a douche. Not gonna make any difference when she's dead. Why do you sound like Dempsey? Stop this now. From like Black Ops. What the heck? He sounds like Dempsey. <laughs> See what she's wearing? Take a good look at that shawl. She's a darkson. Then that explains it. I thought this place stunk. Now I know it does. So we got ourselves a fat one and a stinky one. P.U. It's a regular pig farm in here. Okay, in this situation, I want to be honest. How the hell would she be able to? How would she be able to even get her hands on the gun in the first place? Gun for such a little girl. Drop it. Isara, huh? Hold it right there. Die. Oof. Sara, are you okay? I'm okay, thanks to you. But Martha, I think she's... Martha! This isn't good. She's gone into labor. <coughs> Moving her would be dangerous. Right. Well, we can't just leave her here. What are we going to do? There are a God, lot of materials out there, Ease. And, it's only a matter of time and, they and take fish over and birds. Plaza. They're gonna take over the mill plaza. Oh, Nature, it's listen, coming for us. Out back. What about it? What about it? That's more nature. Something, something that might get us out of this mess. Oh, you mean the couch? <laughs> the couch potato of a tank that we're gonna be getting. Because <laughs> we're not gonna use it. It's just gonna be a couch. And the potato is welcome. <laughs> But, you know, long, uh, that set aside, this thing is a freaking awesome tank. Whoa. I can't believe it's still here. And it's one of a kind. I mean, I, I, I could believe it's still there. I, I don't think a tank would just up and leave. It works great, too. Unless someone stole it, you know? I wanted to make sure it would still operate, you know, in case of emergencies. I enrolled in a maintenance class. Like, for instance, a military attack. Well, that's great, but that's only a class, Isara. It really didn't need much, hardly any alterations at all. I just fitted it with well a Well-built tank, I mean, engine. honestly. It really improves on the power-to-weight ratio. The Edelweiss is field-worthy. Its firepower and mobility are more than a match for recent models. Well, assuming it does It's work, a thick tank! What's next? All right. Welks, you took the armored vehicle course, didn't you? Yeah. Back in high school. Once. <laughs> we'll bring Martha here. She'll be safe inside the tank, and we can move to a better location. You're right. It's a perfect couch. Just leave the driving to me, okay? Alright, you drive All the you couch. Have to do is give the orders. <laughs> Alright. It's pretty serious for just sitting on a couch. I mean, you know, whatever, kid. Alright, sure. This is this would be the best couch that you've ever seen. Oh, it's even got a freaking potato launcher. <laughs> He's done. He's ready to roll. 
Engaging engine. The Edelweiss is ready for deployment. Gosh, there is this one hell of a couch. It's even got a freaking a massaging. It's even got a massaging feature to it. Here's the plan. We're gonna pick up Alicia and get out of town. We're gonna pick up Alicia on my sick freaking couch ride. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. <laughs> oh gosh. Wow, that's one shaky freaking couch. <laughs> look at it go. Look at how beautiful that couch is. Okay, uh, in all honesty, that is a really cool looking tank. I mean, really. Let's be honest. It's freaking awesome. So, let's get into this, shall we? Here's the brief for this operation. I. The enemy is a squad centered around a single tank, currently advancing from the plaza into the maid road. We need to defend the gate on that road. If the enemy breaches it, the evacuating townspeople will be in danger. And that sucks. They'll probably head for the gate and try to destroy it. The tank will be with them. I mean, obviously, they're centered around the tank. <laughs> our goal here is to take out that tank while keeping the gate standing. With the help of your tank, it's next. Without the help of your tank, it's next to impossible for us to destroy their tank. And just so we all know, um, yes, I did some playing beforehand, like when I came back into this game, just to kind of refresh my memory. And yes, it is next to impossible. You can't even beat the tank in this mission. There's no other way to do it unless you use our tank. So in this mission, we're going to have to make an exception for the first time in this playthrough. So let's get right into it. Until we can rendezvous, the Brule Town Watch will do everything we can to keep that gate in one piece. The town will need to hold off. The town watch will well, pff, we'll need to hold off the enemy forces until you arrive with the tank. We'll need to use the sandbags around the starting point and gate for cover to hold back the Empire's attack. Failure. The Brule's main gate is destroyed. Blah, blah, blah. Enemy tank is destroyed. All right. That is our mission. Let's begin. We've got to stop them here. Stop that tank! It's like an MVM match. I'm accustomed to this. If this gate falls, there's going to be even more casualties among the townspeople. Damn straight. The town watch will defend this gate so as many people as possible can get away. All right. Got a second? Listen close. Lady, you got a tank coming up to you. Why do you what? What? <laughs> Sounds like a great game. Sandbags and hand grenades. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I just used this in the last mission. <laughs> Alright, so we got a shock trooper and a tank. That's a big problem. I feel like our first our first mission is to take out some boys. Goodness gracious, man. He's like, what? <laughs> over there. Something over there. I don't know what it is. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Uh, send in town watchman number 764. It's swish. Maximum swishage. Uh, boom. And. Uh, boom. Excellent! Here, we're gonna do something here. We're gonna do the the freaking juke de la crew. Hey, 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 hey! Don't you be shooting at me from my grass over there with your little face and shit. Boom! Oh, come on. This boy. He, ups he upsets me. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Alright, we're gonna get right here. We're gonna crouch. We're gonna swoosh right over here. And that's where we're gonna end our phase. Alright. Um. We'll probably have town. We'll have mustache, man. Look at that mustache! 
Yo, you're gonna be you're gonna be the weapon. You're gonna be the weapon of destruction that everyone needs but doesn't deserve. And we're gonna take out that boy over there. And we're gonna take him out by uh, 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 uh there it is. Wow, perfect! Dead center. Alright, good. So we took down one of their metal boys. We're gonna go over here. And we're gonna crouch right up in this this niche. We're gonna end the action. And we're gonna freaking we're gonna see what this tank does. We're gonna see what this freaking tank wants to do today. You know what? I'm gonna watch what this tank wants to do. Come at me, bro. What do you got? Everyone is shooting at us. Besides this man in the bush. Run. That was a very valiant attempt at trying to get to where he needed to go. <laughs> Those, these people do not know how to aim. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> he just got destroyed! They're sending- Oh my gosh, there's another shock trooper?! What?! I'm back. Hey, that- that's not freaking cool! What a dick! What am I supposed to do to him? I mean, if Alicia could throw a grenade that far, but we can't. Uh, I don't know, dude. I do this is very I swish. 32 shots to kill. We take it. We take we take those 32 shots. And he's like, what? <laughs> can, can I throw a grenade that far? Uh, I'll try it. Sure. Wow, that that really did just just <laughs> amazing amounts of things. Okay, cool. Well, thanks, game. Uh, we're just gonna end this phase like it is, because there's not much we can even do. We could have taken out the- I don't know, we could have. Could have tried. Meanwhile, thick tank boy over here is just gonna be like, boom. No! If this keeps up... If this keeps up, I literally will not be able to do anything! Nothing at all! That guy took a lot of shots from that one, that, that one thing was just like, POP! Fantastic. <laughs> wow, alright, he just immediately turned our, towards my direction. Well, we're still alright, so... It, they, that man is just invincible. <laughs> I mean, really. Did, wait, no. Did you really just run all the way over here? <laughs> He's like, shit. They got me, fam. <laughs> How could this have happened? <laughs> I'm so done, man. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Yo. We, we, we got a tank. Look at all of those commands. Look at all those commands! The tank should be able to breach that wall. It may provide us with a shortcut box. All right, let's give it a shot. Hang in there, Alicia. Well, let's give it a shot. Truly. Cool. I know what a tank does. Shut up. <laughs> What's that I said? And I said! Yes, it is. Alicia, I'm sorry we're late. 
No, no. I'm sorry. Let me use telepathy to communicate with Alicia real quick. <laughs> we can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. I mean, couch. It's a couch. It shoots potatoes. Did you know that? Enemy tank sighted, Welks. Switching to anti-tank combat. Damn, this couch is really high tech. It armor piercing right. potatoes. Let's, Let's go. <laughs> Let's go take down that tank with our armor piercing potatoes. <laughs> I freaking love this. Hey, hey, how about you stop? Okay, yeah, I know how to do this. Okay, just please, 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 please stop. Thank you. Hey, don't sass me, you piece of shit, all right? Oh. Oh, you moved. Well, this is what you get for sassing me. <laughs> you get, you get blue, oh, he's just stuck on that, but hello. Look at that pose. <laughs> is he grabbing his, what, what is that man doing? <laughs> Tanks have two separate HP totals, body HP and tread HP. Tax to the tank's body main can with his bitch bill and try to dance bit tank reach HP that's freaking the tread sucks with grenades. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna take an aim, and we're gonna try and kill this thing with... Okay, we, we literally can't. I don't want to hit Alicia, because I know this game can dick me real hard. And current action. And then leap all over him. Let's go, here we go. Whoosh. Whoa! Whoa! Hello! We did not want to turn side with this game. Alright, let's take aim again. And boom. <laughs> that was a riveting battle between two tanks. <laughs> Alrighty. Yes, we stopped it. Nice work, Ethan. Yes, we traveled through time and shot three rounds out of our couch and destroyed the enemy tank. Picking up girls with my epic couch, man. The materials are running off for now. Looks like we bought some time at least. Welks! Welks! It's a boy! Martha had a boy! Now this couch produces children? What? No kidding. <laughs> it's a couch! They're both perfectly healthy. Good. That's fantastic. You're keeping off the couch. We're gonna slide out of town on this epic couch. We got an A rank because we got the best damn couch you've ever freaking seen. Holy shit, I threw that key real far. <laughs> Alright. That's how we do it. That's how we do it in the couch. Yeah, they say that's how we do it in the bush, but this time we're saying that's how we do it in the freaking couch. What's this episode got? I don't know. It's 2.53 in the morning. You think I want to know? I do, actually. I really do. So let's watch. Two hours after the first shots were fired, Bruel was under Imperial control. This is sad. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Bruel would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. Spoilers! Goodness gracious. Alicia. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. Gosh. Oh, but the sad part is this is what humans do. They are. It's greed, man. They all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, They'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. 
Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher. So that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Welks, look. What a beautiful sleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See Alicia. Oh what a beautiful scene. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look, that's your hometown. <laughs> it's in flames. Someday. We'll come back home again. <laughs> yes. Here's your hometown. It's burning. There's lots Someday of guns soon. over there, too. It's lots of death. <laughs> oh, that was a very beautiful scene. Chapter 3. Vassal Urban Warfare. <laughs> My nose is itching. A new episode has been, has been added. Yes, it has. Vassal Urban Warfare summons. Oh? What, what, what is being summoned? Is it us? In oh. March of 1935, the Empire began its invasion across... This is Gaul's rather trumpet-related music. Yes, it did. You want me to click a button? Max okay, okay. <laughs> commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Oh. Um. Okay, I don't know if I like... ...under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Irene Kohler, on the Galleon front. Irene Kohler. I think that's how it's pronounced? Randgris, Gallia's capital, a town secure and wow. stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Randgris, <laughs> and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Ew. That's it? Th that's all we're gonna- alright. Supporting Gallia's policy <laughs> of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Okay. Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. Seems about right for a As small country, I guess, you know? Worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. Iron Collar on the Galleon Front. Yet again, this, this name is... Mention quite a bit. <laughs> oh. So these are my new digs. Good. Oh, my uniform. Looking, looking snazzy. <laughs> I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. Flares, binoculars, a compass, and a map. Everything you need for a nice hike. Or combat. <laughs> Welkin? Can I come in? No. Okay. <laughs> sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed too. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. You look good, actually. Oh, <laughs> so, how about me? Do I look alright in this? Convincing? Let's take a look. Yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. 
Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. I mean, n n uh, never mind. <laughs> no way! That plating on the back—it's like a coleoptered exoskeleton. Beetle tastic. Coleo what? And did you just say beetle? <laughs> uh, Welkin. What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Huh? Not just any bug. A rhinoceros beetle, king of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? <laughs> uh huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very welcome sort of compliment. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Wait, what? Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Oh, that. <laughs> Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. Hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious bread joke. <laughs> I'm so glad you could rise to the occasion for this. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Might as well get to the... <laughs> Gotta break out the bread jokes, guys. It's the yeast I could do. <laughs> I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and ready for you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. I just had to freak out for a second. Click! View this episode. Yes! Queen Slat. Wait. Okay. Come in. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh. <clears throat> Galleon Militia Enlistee, Welkin Gunther, reporting for duty. Ma'am, Galleon Militia Enlistee, Alicia Melkiot, also reporting for duty. I'm Captain Eleanor Barat, commander of this regiment. Hi. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. Ma'am. Lucky Enlistee number 7. Melkiot? You're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. Understood? Ma'am! What do you know? It is you. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? Valdio? I had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yeah. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much mm. all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other? Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welcome was in science, and I was in archaeology. And just look at us now. No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying more, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. And you. That'll be all for now. There's a strategy briefing later today. But you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Randbreeze. They'll be your new home. So get to know them. Hmm. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. <laughs> the Mandan salute! Oh shit, wait, whoa. Um... L ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're gonna get into this... ...later? <laughs> um, th thank you all so much for watching! Like, comment, subscribe! It's been another really good episode of Valkyria Chronicles. I love this game story. It's got such a beautiful story. It truly does. So, without further ado, I hope to see you all in the next episode. All of your beautiful faces. Take care!